time order words. Using time order words in process paragraphs. Time order words tell the order of steps in a process. You can use first and second to indicate the first two steps in a process. Use next, then, later, or after that to add more steps. Finally, marks the last step in the process. First, make a list. Second, select your clothes. Next, place your shoes in the corners. Then, arrange your clothes in neat layers. Later, add last-minute items such as medications. After that, roll the clothes to avoid wrinkles. Finally, check your list for any forgotten items. Then is not followed by a comma. Connectors link two clauses together. Connectors like before and after can also function as time order words when they link two steps in a process. For example, before you close your suitcase, check your list. Begin packing after you have eliminated all unnecessary items. Invitation. Using time order words to identify the sequence of steps. Exercise 3, page 86. Number the steps in the following process. It is easy to have a good dinner party if you follow some easy steps. Number 1. Next, make a list of people that you would like to invite. After your house is clean, go shopping for food, flowers, and decorations. Then make a funny or pretty invitation and email it to your friends. Finally, turn on the music and wait for the fun to begin. Number 5. Before the guests arrive, decorate the house, set the table, and take a shower. After you have everything you need, plan a meal and make sure you can cook most of it before your guests arrive. A few days before the party, start cleaning your house. First, choose an appropriate date at least two weeks before the party. Marathon, as you can see in the picture. Practicing with time order words. Exercise 4, page 87. Fill in the blanks with appropriate time order words. One big challenge that many people like is running in a marathon. A marathon is a race that is over 26 miles. So it is very hard to complete the race. If you want to run the entire course, you have to train diligently. First, buy a good pair of comfortable running shoes. Then begin your running practice at least six months before you run the race. Try to run three to six miles at least four times a week. You must also stretch before and after a run to avoid tight muscles. After your body is accustomed to longer runs, you can work on your strength by doing sprints or short, fast runs. Later, lengthen your runs to 10 or 12 miles. Make sure you drink plenty of water when you go on longer runs because it because it is important for your muscles. When the day of the race is close, check your shoes. You might need a new pair. The night before you race, eat a lot of carbohydrates. They will give you energy for the big day. Finally, on the day of the race, get up early and drink plenty of water. You should feel confident, strong, and ready to go.